a huge week in The Sims 4. We got the long-awaited pronoun update. We had hopefully the first of many townie updates. We had two kits release. There's just been a lot of free stuff coming into the base game in general, and I want to talk about that townie update today. Because if you missed it, they completely refreshed the goth family. I think we're probably all very familiar with the goth family. They are arguably the most famous Sims in the entire franchise, not just in The Sims 4. So I feel like it only makes sense to start with the goth family in this sort of long-awaited townie revamp. To give you some context, back in like August of 2021, they had a live stream and in that live stream they talked a little bit about wanting to refresh all of the townies. I'm gonna read you the direct quote from that live stream. They said, hundreds of townies have come to life since the first Sims game launch. A lot of love has been put into every single one of them and we acknowledge that they need unique care and attention. So it's about time for a tiny overhaul. We are currently in the process of updating NPCs in The Sims 4, including visuals as well as their lore. This will take some time to accomplish as we have to spend some time with each and every single Sim from Willow Creek to Henford on Bagley. That means we're taking it step by step, or townie by townie, and we're excited to update you at a later date. That's a lot to unpack because that means that they're implying they're going to update every single NPC, like in the entire game, from the base game up until the most recent pack. They mentioned updating visuals and lore. And also, the word tiny overhaul does not make sense to me. How are you gonna say overhaul, but then call it tiny? So from the beginning, this update has been kind of confusing to me. Like, I didn't really know what they were planning to do. I will say that bare minimum, I was expecting to see all of the old Sims get hot and cold weather outfits because all of the Sims from before seasons are missing those. I also thought I would see likes and dislikes added to everybody and now pronouns. I think that the goth family is probably on like the higher end of updates that we'll see. I don't expect them to go through and like revamp the looks of every single Sim in the game. They did have very good reason for this though. Like I mentioned, the goth family is probably the most famous Sims family across the entire history of the Sims. Bella goth especially is like iconic. And there's been a lot of talk about how Bella goth got whitewashed in the Sims for. So for a long time, since like 2014 when the game first came out, people have been asking like, hey, please, can we fix Bella? I understand that for a lot of you, The Sims 4, Bella might be your first experience with her, but I think this update was long awaited and honestly kind of overdue. So here is the new and improved Bella Goth. We also had her entire family get updates. Mortimer Goth got a refresh. So did Cassandra and so did Alexander. I actually haven't looked at all of their other outfits yet, so I'm kind of curious to see what they're all wearing. Oh, you know what? I'm glad they kept her hairstyle. I was gonna say, I think the only thing I'm sad about with Bella Goth's revamp is that her hair is different. I don't know why, but I feel like Bella Goth's hair was kind of iconic. So I'm actually glad to see it back for her formal wear. We've got this active wear, sleep wear, party wear, swim wear. We actually have a proper real hot weather outfit. Now, like I said before, all of the Sims that were pre-seasons just didn't get them. So they would just randomize with outfits new in every different save. So I'm really glad to see her like have a real outfit set. Same for her cold weather, she wears this now. Oh, that's pretty cute actually. Oh, I like that. But where I'm a little bit confused is they didn't give them any likes and dislikes. They didn't get any new sentiments. So they talked about this being like a visual and lore update last year, but this doesn't seem like lore to me. I mean, come on, you could have at least set her to like red or something. I'm sort of surprised that they didn't take advantage of likes and dislikes because that feels like a very obvious opportunity to add in lore. I do love Mortimer's new little coat. I actually think he looks great. I'm really impressed by all of the outfits they've chosen. I feel like these are all very appropriate for the goth family. He still has some of his most iconic iconic outfits remaining, for example, his swimwear, but he does have a new hot weather outfit, which is the same as his everyday, and a new cold weather outfit, which is the same as his everyday, just with gloves. I was kind of curious about that, but the more I think about it, I do realize that it's kind of Agnes Crumplebottom of him to wear the same outfit for like everything, and I think Morty could use some more of that. It feels right to me. My dear little Cassandra has also had a slight revamp. Now she wears these outfits, and honestly, I think she looks a lot better. She feels a lot trendier to me, and <laughs> I think it's really cute. I like actually love this outfit. I think her hot and cold weather outfits are really good. Her little brother Alex now dresses like this. Perhaps most importantly, his eyebrows now match his hairstyle. Before he had brown eyebrows and black hair, <laughs> they finally fixed that. And overall, I'm very happy with these refreshes of them. There are a couple things that I'm confused by though. Number one, like I mentioned, why didn't they add in likes and dislikes? I'm actually like really surprised by that. I guess the lack of pronouns makes more sense to me because we just got pronouns like the day before this update came out. But why not likes and dislikes? We've had those for like over a year now. And also just in general, I think the whole idea of this update kind of confuses me. It makes me wonder why they didn't do it sooner. For some reason,
reason I was kind of under the impression that like, oh, maybe they can't go back and edit townies, and that's why we never got a hot and cold weather outfit update for all of them. But clearly they can edit townies, so why did they never give them outfits? Like, to this day, the other base game townies do not have hot and cold weather outfits. In every new save, the land grab family, for example, will have different hot and cold weather outfits every single time because they never got any set for them. So we just have townies walking around in random clothes that look ridiculous. And it has been literally years, like June of 2018 we got seasons. So why didn't they go back and update them? So now knowing they can do that, I'm like really hungry for more updates. I mean, come on, go back and give the land grabs a proper hot weather outfit. There are actually a couple other smaller things I want to see them refresh. For example, the land grabs have a second son. You might not have known this, but Johnny Zest is related to them. When you read his little bio, Johnny Zest has the stage name and the dream, but maybe not the talent. Disowned by the land grabs for quitting school, Johnny wants to make his own fame and fortune as a stand-up comedian. So Johnny Zest is in the land grab family, but he's not in their family tree. And I love that. That's lore. That's storyline. Backstories for the townies. But if you're just playing with Johnny, if you just meet him at the bar, it's your first time playing The Sims, you would never know that his parents are like the richest Sims in the game. So I would love to have them go back and like properly add him into the family tree. He could still hate them, he can still not talk to them, but I want like a little bit more of a tidbit of information in that family tree that we're kind of missing. And if we're really talking about going back and updating every single townie in the game, I'd love to see, for example, these two get some more realistic body proportions. Candy and Yuki are so, 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 so cute, but I mean, come on, this is just not a human. Nobody looks like that. Yet another unrealistic body standard for women. I mean, seriously. So I would love to see them go back and update things like that. But at this point, I really don't know what to expect from this update. I guess they kind of did say from the very beginning that it was going to be one household at a time. But at this rate, I don't know if they'll ever actually get to all of the townies. I don't know if they're still planning to get to all of the townies. I look forward to hearing more news about that. And at the end of the day, I am really glad they did this. I think it's a huge improvement for the goth family. And that actually isn't the only thing that was in that SDX drop yesterday. Here's a fun new thing on their website. They actually made a little blog section to talk about what comes in each SDX drop. I know I consistently complain every time there's an SDX drop about how there's no information about what's new. They don't tell you like on the game menu, they don't tell you in game. There's no indication to know anything is new. They just say, hey, you've got new items, reopen the game. So I appreciate small things like this website that makes it more obvious, especially because it has pictures. So we have the goth family update, obviously, but we also have a new mood lit lamp and two Parisian outdoor cafe items. So we also got this chair, this table, and this light. I say it every time, but I am so glad they are doing this now. I will gladly accept any kind of free content to this game and a new table and chairs is a welcome addition. So this is the table. It's actually really expensive. It's 1,350 simoleons, but it's a small round table. We don't have a lot of these, so I'm, I'm glad to have another new one. It's got a couple interesting swatches. It has like this sort of marble texture on some of them. I love the solid black and white ones, but it does have a couple other sort of interesting swatches. I will say that the texture looks a little bit weird to me. My friend Little Dika, who makes custom content, told me it's because this is not bump mapped. He made this picture for me to show you. This is the actual table on the left. You can see the weird texture kind of right here. And this is a version of it that I think he made that is bump mapped. And you see how that looks better. This one just kind of looks off. I know it's kind of shiny, but hopefully you can see it here on the left side. So this table, I guess, was like not made well, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, I still like it. And I think that certain swatches look better than others. Like the solid white and black look okay. I think this purple one looks kind of bad. Like that just doesn't look right. This one here is the chair. It's also very expensive. It's 550 simoleons, but it's got some kind of cute swatches. I love having more like pretty swatches. We don't have a lot of things that are this like softer pink and softer purple, so I will gladly accept any more of them. We also have a yellow, a white and gold, a black and gold, and a solid black chair. I wish they had given us like a solid white version, to be honest, or maybe like white with black legs, but I like the gold. It's pretty. I'll just always want more swatches of everything because that's how I am. And again, I will gladly accept free content. I think I'm going to use this chair like all the time. I really like the look of it. I like the table too, but I just don't like how it's like obviously poorly made. I think it's just kind of frustrating to me knowing that modders could make something better than the actual game. But again, it's free stuff and it's in the base game and that's fun. And then this here is the lamp. It's the into the mood lit lamp. It says feeling down and out. This lamp is specifically designed to boost your mood and just might do the trick. And I don't know if you can tell, but the lighting is messed up on this. Like, do you see how there's like a real straight line cut off at the bottom? What is that? Why is it doing that? It's very confusing to me. I think you can see it better when I'm moving. So something odd is going on there, 
but it's got an emotional aura, so that's fun. It, it gives you the cheerful decor moodlet, so when you have this lamp, your sims will quite literally be happier, so I guess that's fun too. I don't really know when I'm gonna use that though. Um, it's it's nice, but it's just, it's not like a <laughs> an item that I'm gonna frequent. I don't know what else to say about that one. There's actually a couple more things they didn't mention. It looks like we got two new nose presets and also the wrinkles that they gave to Mortimer. I think this is one of the nose presets, and also this one is the other nose preset. And then we also have this new set of wrinkles that we got. So I guess that's a nice touch too. I feel like they may have made those things specifically for the goth family and then out of the mid is presets, but I believe that is everything covered in the update this week. It was kind of a big one, and it was also the second update this week. If you want to hear about that pronoun update, I'll link the video at the end of this one, and if you want to hear about the kits, I will also link that video at the end of this one. The only other like small news thing is that they've done a bunch more werewolf teasers. It really feels like werewolves are so blatantly obviously coming to this game game and probably soon. There's like full moons and little creepy glowing eyes hidden everywhere in the screenshots they've been posting. They are not holding back with the hints this time. I will obviously tell you as soon as we have any confirmation of werewolves. Also, if there's a leak, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a leak. It seems like everything leaks nowadays, so I'll let you know. And with that, I have just one more tiny small announcement. I am streaming on Twitch today like I have been every day this month because we're raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Today I'm doing what is probably a very bad idea, but I'm making it so that your donation will control my build. So for example, you could like donate to make me bulldoze the lot or like force me to add in a cupcake machine. It, it should be a nightmare. So if you want to pop in, I'll link that stuff down below. And with that, I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Who do you think they're gonna do a townie update for next? And also, how long do you think it'll be until it happens? I'm so curious to see more about this.